None are more hopelessly enslaved than those who falsely believe they are free. Gerda. Hello, my name is John Rose. And in this video, we're going to take a closer look at how to make a slave, according to Willie Lynch, and then to show you guys how that's being applied to us today. Because we're all still slaves. All of us are still slaves. We don't see the bars. And that's the worst form of slavery. Now, to learn more about this, you can do a simple Google search for Willie Lynch, his speech, or letter rather, and you can also find it under Willie Lynch Syndrome. In fact, there's a video by Denzel Washington that paraphrases part of this speech. And it's horrifying to see what they did to these people to break them from nature, to change their mindset, to change, to create a role reversal in the children. And it all begins with the women. You get the women, then you get the children, so follow the men. That's how it works. And they figured out a way to keep these people enslaved. And this goes back over 3,000 years. They've even had handbooks that were handed out during the uh, uh, transatlantic slave trade on how to control these people. And it's frightening. It's horrifying when you see what mankind is willing to do to themselves. And remember, that's all because of the first mistake we made which we can correct and that's the most important thing we need to understand because how do we overcome this well let's take a look at how Willie said you should do it the way you break them from their natural cycle is you take the meanest and biggest and strongest of all the males you strip them down naked you tar and feather them tie up his legs to two horses pointing in the opposite direction, set them afire and start whipping those horses until they literally pull that man apart, making everyone watch. Then they take a bull whip and they whip every one of the male males near death to an inch of their life. Don't kill them, but put the fear of God in them. And what this does psychologically to these women it destroys their whole structure, their whole male structure of being dependent upon the more stronger male, male figure. And what they tell these women, they say, look, if you don't learn to dominate your men, we're going to kill every one of them. So that's what the women have to do is they have to assume this male role or dominant role, independent role. And it's a, a frozen psychological condition that was put into them because of the way they tore their whole power structure apart by doing that to the men. So what these women do is they raise their children in a revolt, reverse role situation. They trade, they, they teach their young girls to be like them, independent. And then for the men to be weak mentally and emotionally, but strong physically. But they're going to be conditioned so that when they become a certain age, they will be a slave the rest of their lives because that's what they were taught as a child. Give me the boy of a seven, of a, as of seven, I'll give you a man for life. It doesn't take long to condition a whole generation or a whole species and it begins with the first generation. They even said, don't worry about the first group we did, focus on the ones coming up. Make sure you test the women. Make sure there is no ounce of resistance, any shred of resistance, any sign of resistance, you whip the hell out of her, no matter how small it is, to make them completely subservient, and they'll follow your orders, and then become dependent upon you. And it's all about becoming, about making them dependent upon us. And the strategy is the same way you break a horse. You break down the female horse to a point where she'll come and eat out of your hand. And what, what's that going to do? It'll, she will turn around and teach her children to come and eat out of your hand. Don't you see? And we're doing the same thing. So when we look at our culture now, 80% plus, 80 plus percent of advertising is geared toward women. Women usually run the households and run the whole system at house. Uh, they buy the food. They decide where they go for health. So, Again, first you get the women, then you got the children, so follow the man. 
You women out there play a huge role in solving our problems. And I've known this from the very get-go. My message has always been trying to figure out what can I do to help motivate the women because you guys are the ones that need to do this. You are the ones that are going to be teaching your children. And we got to stop teaching them the wrong thing. That's what we're doing. That's why we're in the situation we're in. It only takes one generation you can turn people into slaves. One generation you can turn them into cooked food zombies. But they have the wrong mentality. They're out of control. They're easy to control. That's why it's so important to understand the first cause, the fall of mankind. The first thing we did to opt out of nature. You see, that's how they make them slaves. They break them away from nature. They teach the women to raise the children differently so it's a whole different role reversal. So the men are always weak, afraid to stand up and fight. Part of the conditioning was also to make sure you remove any of their history. Give them a new language. Don't let them remember the past. That's why our history is bullshit. They don't want us to know the past. What's the fall of mankind? Oh, we ate from the tree of, 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 uh, of, uh, tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, what does that mean? What do you do when you eat from a tree of knowledge? Is that in the first stage, second stage, or third stage? It's too confusing. Again, there are people who don't want us to know history. They don't want us to understand our origins. That we are loving, kind, and giving by nature. We don't have to be told how to do any of this. We just got to be taught how to live. How to satisfy our needs, and we're not doing that. And we can break this slave, master-slave relationship that we have right now. Where the few dominate the many. We are the Goliath in this situation, if we can wake up. But these guys attack early. Just like the slave owners, in order to be a good slave owner, you got to learn to read your slave. You got to make sure you see any sign of, of rebellion. The point here is that the psychopaths who rule the world, they understand us better. That's why all this social media, it's the same thing. Keep track of us. They want to know how we think. We're being tested all the time. That's why it's important for us to start doing things to show them you're not going to take this any further. It's not time to do this and this and this because we're waking up. We're going to change this. We're going to make this a better world for all of us. Even the ones who think they're at the top of the heap, not realizing they're in a hole. And everyone out of the hole is better than anyone in the hole, even if you're at the top of the hole. They don't realize that, just like most of us don't know what we're missing. So that's the key. We've got to see what we're missing. Most of us have, have no idea there's another level of existence out there. We're all slaves. We're all debt slaves. We need to break that bond immediately. How does that start? Well, I just did a video on this. We got to end the Fed. We got to stop letting someone else print our money. We got to take charge of that aspect of it. And then when we satisfy our needs, we'll change our mentality. We won't have an exchange mentality anymore. We're going to have a gift mentality. We're going to understand the more we give, the more we receive. And we'll never have a situation where anyone's going to want to dominate another group of people. That just won't exist. So to really solve these type of problems, you always have to go back to the first cause. I guarantee you, my friends, when you can finally do that, you'll be able to understand all these other problems you've been trying to look at, and then for sure, you're in for a treat.